everybody this is Tony from Creative Chica Hauls and today I have like a small Dollar Tree haul for y'all now I'll be honest with y'all I have not found a whole lot from Dollar Tree lately uh, maybe it's because maybe I don't need anything or whatever but I did um, come across oh I shook my camera shake it baby okay so I came across um, a little DIY from Bargain Bethany and she was like um, painting these little containers because <clears throat> I was looking on how to store stuff, you know, because like, you know, I need every inch of space, right? So she bought some of these. I'm not sure if it's the same uh, box. It could have been smaller. But she, what she did was <clears throat> she painted on the outside the colors of the paint, okay? Like if it's yellow, paint it yellow. If you want to store all of your colors together. <clears throat> I'm not sure if I have that many colors to do so because look see these paints here so this would take probably I don't know three six nine twelve at least a dozen which is not bad at all okay so um I'm going to try to put all of the like paints together um that's what I'm thinking okay because and then I have bought like six of these okay now, because these are flat, I thought, well, these would be good if maybe, you know, I could like, you know, put them on top of each other to store in my closet. And then I can see, you know, what paints I have. Right now, they're in boxes, and I can't see what I have, so I have to pull everything out. <clears throat> so I thought, well, I'm going to try this. And if y'all don't know Bargain Bethany, she's a big YouTuber, guys. She hit over a million subscribers recently. And her DIYs are totally amazing. She comes up with so many great ideas. And, um, you know, and we all look up to Bargain Bethany. You know what I'm saying? Because, she, you know, she's totally amazing. So she thinks of all this stuff. And I'm giving her credit where, where the credit is due. Because that's what you should do on YouTube. If you see somebody that is doing something and you want to do it, then you should say their name. Say my name. Say my name. Right? Uh, you should shout them out because that's their idea. <clears throat> Sorry, it's early in the morning and my coffee is in the other room. So it is what it is. Okay, so yesterday I videotaped this and then I deleted it because sometimes, you know, you just got, you know, you don't like the way it's what I said or whatever, so I had to delete it. <laughs> so it's kind of wonky. But anyway, so I thought I would share this tip with y'all if y'all like to paint and stuff. I know uh, Crystal's Beautiful Chaos, she does a lot of painting. And uh, who I don't know how she stores her paint or anything, but I mean, she's another good DIYer, guys. So go check out Crystal. Crystal's Beautiful Chaos. Okay, so I did get six of these, and I hope to, I maybe I'll try to take a picture once I'm done. But I don't know. I don't know. Because I want to go ahead and get this video out. So, I don't know. Maybe I'll put, like, whenever I do, I'll post it on my community page. How about that? Okay, so I did get six of those. And I really like them. I like them. They are they are big and roomy. And, now, they also had smaller ones, of course, that wouldn't hold as much. But I have a, a boatload of paint in there, guys. I'm not kidding. It's a boatload of paint. So, because I do like painting things. Um... Uh, I don't know. I just paint, like, if I buy stuff, like, let's say I buy something and uh, I don't like the color of it, then I'll paint it. You know what I'm saying? So, anyway, I got six of those little babies right there. And then um, I also picked up this. I'm going to move this over. This is, like, cre creating too much um, stuff. So, I got this. It says, you put the grand in grandpa. And uh, I bought this for my husband from the grandsons for Father's Day. Now, my husband... He does not like to get gifts. He says, I don't need anything. You know, you don't need to be buying me anything. Because I saw a cute little wooden truck at Walmart. And it said Papa. But, you know, the boys, they don't call him Papa. They call him Grandpa. But it was really cute. But I said, you know what? And it was like 348. It was really cute. It was a little wooden, chunky truck. And they have a lot of things at Walmart. If you want to go check out Walmart if for Father's Day, it's a good place to go. But I knew that my husband would like it because, like, recently we just did buy him a little red truck. I think it was from Cracker Barrel, and he has it in there on his chest of drawers. So he likes stuff like that. But I said, you know, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to make them a nice dinner maybe that day. Whichever day that we celebrate 
Father's Day on because sometimes it's not on the same day because my uh, oldest son, you know, he has a uh, he has other family and stuff, so, you know, because he's married. And then my younger son, he's up in North Carolina. So <clears throat> I'm just I'm just thinking that I might send my uh, youngest son a, like a little gift card maybe. And then I got this for my oldest son, and it says, Your Day, Papa Bear. And, um, like, they love bears in the family. I mean, because, you know, my daughter-in-law, her nickname is Bear. So I thought this was cute for him. It says, Happy Father's Day. So I got that from the boys because I got my son a really nice coffee mug, stainless steel from Walmart. I don't know if I posted that video yet, but it's really nice. It was $12.98. It's got like a leather handle on it. Very, very nice. And my son, he likes uh, drinking his coffee. He likes iced coffee and all that. So I got that for my oldest son from the grandsons. And then I also picked this up, and this is, uh, it says Tool Man, okay? And um, these boxes are so adorable to put like a little gift in for your husband or for your um, sons or whatever, you know? And um, this was the biggest one that I could find because I'm going to put some cookies in it, right? I'm going to bake some cookies, his favorite cookies, my son's, and... Um, you know, of course, my husband, he'll have some as well. But, you know, I'm just, this is just like a little gift from the boys. And I just think it's really cute because my oldest son, he is a mechanic. He's an auto mechanic. Um, he was destined to be an auto mechanic since he was two years old because one day I caught him underneath a chair trying to fix it with play tools. And I said, this boy is going to be an auto mechanic. And he sure was. He became an auto mechanic, but he's actually now a teacher at a community college and he teaches auto mechanics to um, the guys there. So yeah, and he's very, very well loved there. Everybody just loves him. Okay, <clears throat> so, oh, I also got this for my uh, son. It says, you're the best. And uh, it's a little bag from the Dollar Tree. And I can't see it very well. It's got too much stuff here. I mean, this is hard to do and usually I use this setup just to do like my crafts and stuff, but lately I've been doing the my hauls in here, but you know, it's kind of like, it is what it is, guys. But anyway, this was uh, from a uh, Walla, it's a gift bag, and I thought it was cool, because you know, it looks like wood, looks manly, so I got that to put the mug in. Okay, so let's see. Oh, and I bought these for my grandsons. Now they love the tattoos, the temporary tattoos. And these are of cars, and I figured they would enjoy those. The last time I bought them was like uh, the Spider-Man uh, and Friends. So I think they will like these. Because, you know, Grandma, you know, she likes to spoil those grandsons. Okay, so I did get some of these extra, extra large burritos flavored with beef and bean. And my husband, this is his favorite, favorite, favorite. And we were out of them, and he said, you better go get some more. So while I was down there at our Dollar Tree, I picked up about eight of these, and just, you know, we put them out there in the freezer. And what he likes to do is sometimes we'll just, like, you know, cut it, cut it in half. We'll fry it on the skillet and, you know, make some eggs or something with it. And he just absolutely loves it, and so does my oldest son whenever he comes over for breakfast. So I picked up about, I think it was like eight. I cleared the box. Let's just put it that way. So I think there was eight of them. Okay, and then while I was there down there at my Dollar Tree, because it's funny, because I went to another city this morning to drop off a box for Goodwill, I did not buy anything, guys. I went into Dollar Tree. I did not buy anything. I went into the Dollar Tree down there. I didn't buy anything. I said, oh, my gosh, this is like crazy, but at least I dropped off the Goodwill box. And I'm really, uh, it makes me feel good to, um, you know, collect things that I don't lo no longer need and give it to Goodwill. Now, s some people may not like Goodwill. Um, I sit, I take it to the Goodwill that I like because the other one that I went to, uh, I won't say the city, but they were rude. They were so rude. So these people down here, they're really nice. And I do find a lot of good things sometimes, but this time it must have been picked over. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but I really like this one. And I do like uh, the Goodwill in Lakeland as well. This Goodwill that I'm talking about is in Arcadia. It's amazing. I, buy, I find all kinds of good stuff there. And uh, today I just, you know, today was one of those days where I just really don't, didn't feel well. Uh, I didn't sleep well last night, and that happens sometimes when you get older. And, you know, it's like, you know, I feel like right now I should go take a nap. But I have things that I need to do. <laughs> 
So anyway, I found these. These are Galaxy Cake Cups. And my grandsons do not like cake. They like the icing, but they don't like the cake. So I said, well, Grandma or Grandpa will eat these, right? Um, I thought I just wanted to try them. It's the Duncan Hines, and um, it says remove lid and film from cup. Do not microwave with the lid. Um, and then um, you tap cup to level the cake mix. Add cold water to the fill line, three tablespoons, and stir well. And then you microwave on high for one minute. Cool two minutes in the microwave. Remove from microwave carefully by lifting from top of cup. Sprinkle with toppings and enjoy. So this one is the chocolate cake mix. It's really cute. The packaging is adorable, if I must say so myself. And then this one, oh my gosh. Bonnie from Bonnie's Corner. She would love this. I should have got her one, but, you know, because I'm going to be sending her a little package in the mail. If I get back down there, I'm going to get her one or two. This one's got vanilla flavored pink cake mix with sprinkles, and it's the unicorn cake cup. And it's 280 calories for one serving, and this one's 270. So this is new to Dollar Tree, and I said, well, heck, I'm, you know. It says children younger than five could have difficulty swallowing small food pieces. Young children should be under adult supervision while preparing and eating. Oh, my goodness. Okay. So, yeah. Let's just be careful with the youngins there. Okay. So, I picked up some more of this. Oh. Oh, that's, um, that was a thing that I made for the boys. Um, it's, it looks like it's a clear piece, you know. But we drew a rocket ship on a uh, rocket ship on there. It was some kind of art thing that my son and daughter-in-law gave me. It's for stained glass, and um, so we did a rocket ship. Anyway, uh, I got some more of this foam mounting tape, and I have been using this a lot. And um, I'm really enjoying crafting again, guys. I mean, I'm starting to get my crafting mojo again. <laughs> So I'm trying my best to stay busy and, um, you know, do more things in my craft room. Of course, I got other things to do in the house as well, but, you know, it is what it is. But this stuff is really good uh, to layer. It says layer projects. Amazing. It's pre-cut. And I really, really like this stuff. So I got to pick that up. And then I got two wish list items. Oh, my God. <sighs> And I've been looking for these. Every time I go into Dollar Tree, I'm always looking for these because these are the little coffee cup, the Type-C USB cable. Absolutely stinking cute. I just love these. Now, um, okay, so a lot of people recommend not to, like, you know, get the, the electronic stuff down there. But whenever, you know, these cords, whenever you go to Walmart stuff, they're quite more expensive. So I don't, I don't mind. I don't mind at all. I mean, I really like these too. Yeah, aren't they cute? Look at that little coffee cup. So whenever this one bites the dust or when they both, I will peel that little coffee cup off and I will use it on something. I'll make a charm out of it or I'll do something, but isn't, aren't they adorable? I, I bought two. I bought the two that they had because I have been searching and searching all the time, you know how you have these little things in your head like, oh gosh, you know, I really want this, but I never find it. And then uh, I almost, I almost passed them up because I was in another aisle and I said, wait a minute, I need to check the cords, right? So that's what I did. I checked them and there they were. So I was happy about that. So that was a lot of fun. So anyway, guys, I think that is all of my haul today and I appreciate everybody for watching. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And please give me a big thumbs up. That helps my channel to grow. And I'm hoping to get to 2K pretty soon. And whenever I do hit 2K, I do plan on doing a giveaway. I'm going to do probably a gift card giveaway because that way you can go out and buy what the heck you want, right? So anyway, guys, um, I will catch you all in my next video. And I will see you later. Bye, guys.